Hello YouTube, I'm back with another quick video. It's going to be stuff that came through the mail, I guess you can say, and a few things that I bought since the last time I bought something. So here we go. Actually this one I didn't buy it, but a friend gave it to me, Blood Bowl. So we'll see how that game turns out. The game I did buy, I don't know, it's, I don't know why, but, I don't know, it seemed like maybe it might be interesting. X plays Code Embryo. I actually bought this when I went to buy that box of cards, the, the first box of 2015-16 Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey. I really hate the way Upper Deck's doing hockey. I mean, you know, like, look, take Tops for instance. Now a lot of them are, you're getting a guaranteed hit per blaster, I believe. Except for normal Tops, which you can get that stupid manufactured coin, but you get what I'm talking about. I mean, Upper Deck would rather give you a finger up the ass for 20 bucks than anything else. I mean, if you want better odds for jerseys, because if you look at the $20 blasters, those odds are freaking wow. 240 packs to get a to get a jersey. And the 30 and 35 dollar boxes, well the 10 in the big box, you're one out of every two boxes. Series 2 is one out of every four. So that's kind of hard. Anyways, uh this is a movie that I decided to buy, Creed. I liked it, saw it in theaters, and usually, a lot of people know, I only buy DVDs. Usually only buy DVDs from movies that I've seen in the theater. Yeah, it comes with both Blu-ray and DVD, which is how I bought it. I could have bought the DVD for 15 but I decided to get that this because, I mean, it came with this, and everybody knows I like my digital movies so there you go I think that's it for pickups let's see I got I got this from L simulation off of how do you call it Amazon Hold on a second, because I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a certain thing to show real quick. Okay. But yeah, what it is, I mean it doesn't have the I was a dumbass and I didn't check first before I paid for it. I didn't know that it wasn't gonna have the cover the K I mean yeah, can't talk tonight. The sticker. But it's supposed to be Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. So, <laughs> go and stick it in this DS. And hopefully it works. Wow, okay, never mind. It's dead. I could have swore it got charged a while ago. There we go. Never mind. Damn it. I don't know what the hell's up with this damn thing. Keeps resetting. I haven't used it in a while, but, you know. Okay, whatever. I don't fucking care. I don't know why it's making me do all this shit all over again. Then it turns off on you. Okay. Okay. Let's get down to it. Okay, now up there. Okay, see? Could be an amazing mirror. I'm going to show that I didn't switch games. There. Okay. Now that that's over with. We can go ahead and go on to the next. 
And what it is is off of eBay. See what it is. What I wanted. I'm a I'm a Gundam Wing fan, and the they had these collections for both halves of the show. Like there was a collection one and a collection two, and they're like running. I got when I got mine, it was only like 35 bucks, but they're running like a hundred bucks a piece and even higher. And I think that's a bunch of shit for them to even do something like that. They're trying to claim it was rare, but how can something be rare if they freaking made millions of copies of it? Go figure. But anyways, I saw something even better. The I was going to buy Collection 1 because I saw one for 35 and another for 30 But they got sold. But what I did see coming from E. Collins off of, off of eBay is I saw this. This was even better. Though my collection 2 is going to go to shit, and the fact that I have two copies of the movie already. But yeah, we got this complete collection plus the movie. It was uh, sealed. I opened it on my own. Okay, I believe it. Yeah, this was the movie. The movie is always looking like that. Okay. But yeah. pretty cool and then I believe this is the oh my god they're all stacked up in there like that I'm gonna probably have to find cases for them all yep it's exactly like that all six DVDs stacked I'm gonna have to find another case for them for all of them but anyways, I'll go ahead and show you what the D, how the DVDs look. At least they made them look cool. Put some kind of cool art on them. But yeah, this is the... This is what I like. The mobile... This was my favorite out of all of them. Mobile Suit Gundam. Can't believe it took me this long to buy them all. Well, I'm, I still haven't bought in the collection one. Maybe I'll buy that later on, but... For now, for 35 this was really a really good thing not to and this was a really good thing to not pass up on there yeah okay but I hate how it's all packaged like that of course there's hero and wing zero That's pretty cool for for 35. You can't beat that. Consider the fact that sometimes you might find stuff like that and they'll jack up the price to 100 or 200 dollars. We all know how anime is. When you buy it, it's pretty much a rip off because you got people wanting to sell something that's not really all worth that much to begin with. I mean, come on. Where where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. To have this shit imported from Japan, they wanted a hundred and thirty fucking dollars. And just recently, they released it in in uh, America for about thirty five. I only paid like twenty though. But yeah, for that one, that's what it costed to have it imported before they decided. Now the Japanese copies on Amazon are going for about twenty bucks a pop. Go figure. Try to rip people off for so long and it doesn't sell, and that's what happens. Hopefully that'll happen with the Neo Geo X Gold, or Gold X, whatever you want to call it. Last but not least, from Amazon, we got Guilty Gear XRD Signed Limited Edition. I have yet to play it. I don't know if I'll eventually play it yet. I mean, the new, the new game's coming out soon, June. But, yeah, that I, was, I held off on this for a long time because of the fact that Well, I guess I'll just show that. Yeah, I held off because of I heard Dizzy wasn't in it, and that's kind of my favorite character. Whoa, what's this? Oh, that's the sole belt buckle, free. Maybe they ought to release a headband, the actual belt buckle. That's a keychain, but maybe they ought to release an actual belt buckle on the headband that says Rock You. That's pretty cool, though. Got the Guilty Gear Codex. Try to 
show you guys as much as I can out of all this. Damn, it's kind of going to be hard. Yeah, it's just showing a bunch of the characters. This was sealed too. I decided to open it a while ago. I was going to play it and I decided not to. There's Daisy right there. Yeah, apparently she's not in it. She's supposed to be in the next one. Hey, there's there's her son right there. Hers and Kai's son. Sin. Okay, well, there you go. Of course, they also have this. The vocal collection. Probably pointless, and of course the game itself, and a booklet, which a lot of games nowadays don't seem to be wanting to put inside. But yeah. Anyways, so there you have it. And that's all that came, or I went to buy recently. Looking into buying some hobby boxes this coming paycheck. Want to get a box of 2013-14 score hockey jumbo box, jumbo packs, not the little regular crappy packs, jumbos, and maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see. But there you have it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video. For those of you who have been wor wondering about dumpster dives, I haven't done any lately. They had been too cold. I went today. They didn't have jack shit, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing that. I mean gotten too used to not having to to take that walk anymore and what's more important going to dive in a dumpster like most of most of the people on youtube or going to get a paycheck you decide anyways catch you guys later thanks for watching and that's it